hello beautiful family how are you doing thank you for your love thank you for your support i just can't thank you enough so my colleagues people and uh -huh, you know now hey we've come again and when you see me like this you know that another aquaro girl is about to happen oh hey today we are having a special guest though it's someone that is not new to this uh platform but to this program is very new and we are about to ask him some questions because everything that is taking place surround him ah we want to call on barrister mike ezekome sam yes please a lot has been going on ah ah what do you have to say about this man the canon doctor that you said no to and you later said yes to can you explain to everyone because this time around is not only Biafra's the world a lot of people are so interested in this particular case so because that is why i am here to give the update to those people that don't really know what is going on or they cannot really figure out what is going on please sir over to you explain to the world everything that is taking place right now about the doctor and whatsoever they need to hear my learned friend if i need you for to that meeting. And I now demanded, I then demanded that Nabi Kanu should be present at the meeting. Because we are only lawyers. And we do not know anything about medicine or surgery. And they first in Nabi Kanu, and we all sat down and brainstormed and agreed that there was no way they could have carried out that surgery on Kanu without is some personally appointed medical doctor a doctor of his own choice as earlier directed on the 21st of october 2021 by the honorable justice bintanyako of the federal high court that he be allowed to have his personal doctor so that there could be a second opinion on his deteriorating state of health wherein they are increasing his potassium level every day they are using him as a guinea pig for trial because they do not know the cause of his illness and all the results all the tests they have taken done uh, blood tests urine tests stool tests which they have already done they said to they have sent to south africa some other countries now the county date has never been availed of what the results were no have we is cancer thank you so much sir so sir please we want to still ask you more questions are you aware about the visitation of this uh, doctors coming to visit mazina the canon please are you really aware let us know so at that meeting therefore i impressed it upon them that there was no way they could carry out a surgery on in the canon's ear without his personal physician being present that he will not we will not even allow it and that was what we agreed on the so sir so why are you angry or why did you say that no these people cannot visit mazina the canoe anymore why did you deny them at first please people really want to know the meeting was that when now the canoe finally appoints any one or two doctors of his choice they should get across to us we will now again write to the SSS for an iterative session between these doctors and Nabdikano because his earlier doctor, Dr. Silfine Okorochuku, who had been treating him even before his extraordinary, torturous, and forceful rendition from Kenya back to Nigeria on the 27th of June 2021. Who had gone to the DSS facilities two times and had been denied access to uh, uh, to 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 see Nam the Kano himself was not in the country. Because of that, it means that whichever doctors that will be seeing Nam the Kano will be seeing him for the first time, and then Nam the Kano will be seeing them for the first time. So there must first be that interactive session so that they can have a synergy to know whether these are doctors that he can go with. Or whether we need another set people has been talking to 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 is it true that you are sacked by mazikanu takanu surprisingly 
suddenly, like Fela will put it, we saw flying in the social media some characters saying that the family of Nabi Kano has allegedly debriefed me and if I engage your phone. There are certain pieces of news I don't take serious. I didn't just laugh. I goofed. Now, the same lawyer, Kanonta sacked. They are sacked. They are useless idiot. Kanonta has sacked them and they are sacked. Actually, no, no, no. So, everything that we are saying here, they are things that are in public domain. They are things that are materials that you can lay hands on. The video is in public. It's everywhere. So, we are not having any word of our own. But Barrister Sam Ezekomes, Barrister Mike Ezekomes, Sam, you said you were in court on 20th of June. That was yesterday, 2023. And you said the daughters are also permitted now. That is, you grant the permission that the DSS should allow the daughters to see Mazi in Abdi Kanu. Can you really explain your motive of being in the court on 20th of June? The case before this court, where we are here, is just two orders. In order to grant him his, um, uh, access, to uh, um, uh, access to Madamus, to have access to his doctor and his record, medical records, and, and, for, and for that order. That's just all. Sir, please, there is something that I want to say to Sir Mike Ezekome because a lot of things is happening and people are not really getting some areas clear. Hence, I choose to do this program and ask some questions so that you can pick some key words, some key points. You said on 6th of June, you refused the DSS to grant the doctors access to Sima Z in Abdikanu because you wear it in form. That is what you said. And meanwhile, this court date has been fixed. And you said the purpose of this court hearing or this court sitting is for the DSS to grant Mazina the Kanu access to see the, the medical doctor. Hmm. And you stop the DSS from not allowing the doctors to see Mazina the Kanu on June 6th just because you weren't told. So, why is it? Because, see, let me tell you people something the purpose of this platform is to dissect the truth is to let you to know the truth and the error if the ss did right today see me i will say it yes so because we cannot hide the truth in this place if the ss are playing the good role see i will say it i will not be afraid of anybody to say it i will say it yes because not only biafrans watch this program there are other people from other places that is following up the case of Mazi in abdikanu hence it's not only Biafran people that are talking about Mazin Abdikanu. Any other person that loves Mazin Abdikanu can talk about Mazin Abdikanu without putting the Biafra as a cross on their forehead. Putting Biafra as a cross on your forehead does not really mean that you are more Biafra more than some. If you don't know, you got to get it. Hence, we are here. Now, in this particular aspect, I don't think that the DSS are to be blamed. The DSS, they played their role very well, quotes me. Tell me, I will say the truth the way it is. That's juicy. The DSS, oh my goodness, they really tried. Yes. Carry this video, share it. Cut it, share it. I don't, it, it's my own I'm saying. The DSS, they really tried that very day because the DSS are really prepared. They are ready that Mazina the Kanu, finally, finally, the daughters should attend to Mazina the Kanu. There is no cause for alarm. There is no cause. But the same barristers they stopped the doctors that they were not informed so in this particular aspect who are you to blame do you want to blame the dsl that have already played their role they have done their part so uh, but mr mike is like sam is just waiting for that did because he knew that on 20th of june there is another city about this particular case of granting mazina the kind of access to the medical uh, doctor after two weeks and what happened when they went to the court, what happened at the end of the day? Niente. According to what Italian people used to say, they say niente. What happened? Now that Mike, uh, uh, Barista Mike Ezekome wrote that Mazin Abdikan should be allowed. Oh, DSS, please, allow him. I have talked with the daughter. I know them. The people that I know, DSS now said capital, no. DSS refused the lawyers 
DSS refused the doctor access to Mazi in Abdikan on 20th of June. Now, who to blame? Do you want to blame the DSS? Hey, okay, what is the findings, findings of the court? What did the court say? Did they say, okay, oh, DSS grant access to Mazi in Abdikan when they grant one access? But that is what we are yet to know because maybe, maybe. After that cut now, they will fix another dead but come on. The head of Mazenam, they can matter the love. We should not be using the head of Mazenam, they can't play Joko. But this aspect, DSS, they play their role. Yes, they play their role. So, my Kabbalistic people, let us also hear from Master Prophets. Then, we can finalize. The lawyers, go and check in Mazenam, and the can. And, ye and yesterday was also the day. The court case, which they filed in on the second of the month. They were supposed to have the hearing. Now, you knew that there was an application for the lawyers to come. Okay? You were informed. And you filed this application because somebody gave you an application that he has already written. And you filed it. And you knew that DSS has told you that they are coming on the 6th. You stopped it. And after that, you went and negotiated with DSS and said, okay, let those two people come back again. And the same day, you are to go to court to ask DSS to allow the doctors, which you stopped yourself, to come back. I think I'm missing it. Yesterday's case was filed on the 2nd of this month. You are going back to court because that appointment was yesterday. To tell the court to allow DSS to allow to tell DSS to allow the doctors which you yourself stopped. You were in the court. DSS still stopped those two lawyers again. These people are working together, they are working together. Either Ojofo and DSS are screwing Mazin and the Kano. Or I will say to the DSS that Ojofo are spoiling the name of DSS. Now, if Ojofo and the Zokome were good lawyers, they would have allowed the doctors to go in that day and examine Mazin and the Kano. Or they would have accompanied those, lawyer, those doctors to go and examine Mazin and the Kano if they were good lawyers. If they had the best interest of Mazin and the Kano at heart, they would have gone that very day with barrister and lawyer, Ejumako, or they would have said, Ejumako, okay, you are a junior lawyer to, to Ozokome. So stay back. Let Ozokome and those two doctors go in and check up Mazen and the Kano. We wouldn't have had this problem. The lawyers were fighting each other instead of fighting for Mazen and the Kano. Ejumako were fighting for Mazen and the Kano. Ojofo was Fighting Ojo, Ejimako. So you see, they are fighting against one another. Everything Barista Loy Ejimako wants to do, Ojofo will be fighting him. At the end of the day, Mazen and Kano just had a bunch of lawyers fighting each other. Now, this Efulefus, all of them said, you see, now the same lawyer, Canon Tasakt. They are sacked. They are useless idiot. Tananta has sacked them and they are sacked. Now, the went to a court case which has been already there. And what come out of the case? Oh, let them have doctors to go and visit him. You stopped it. You stopped it two weeks ago. So had it been you allowed the doctors to check, you would have called off this court case yesterday. They are just fully mazen and they can. If, please, please, let's just put all these things aside. Let's put, I am on the side of DOS. I am on the side of uh, Canon. Let us put all those things aside. Let's just wait and think. If Ozukome and Ojumofu 
we are working for the best interest of Mazen and the Kano. They wouldn't have stopped those doctors to come and examine Mazen and the Kano. If Chike Dozim are on the best interest of Mazen and the Kano, they wouldn't have stopped. They wouldn't have sabotaged if I say stopped as if they has power. No, sabotaged. They wouldn't have sabotaged those doctors coming to see him. And let's say if the doctors came, it could have been one victory. So we are also going to hear from Master Prophet because we've been hearing that this do these uh, lawyers that people are talking about, everybody is talking about oh, 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 Barrister Lloyd Jumako, Barrister Mike Ezekome Sam, blah blah blah. They are not paying them more. What they are doing, they are doing it freely. They are not paying them. But if you are aware or you know in any way, in any form that they are paying them, please regard it. But let us hear from Master Prophet if really they are paying them. Can not eat your cake and have it. Two doctors were on the gate and you were in the courtroom fighting for the doctors to come while the doctors are there while you are the one who asked them to come for the second time and you are still going to court because you want to have your mouth yabru yabru so that when you go to court you have more money and i was told that they have been paying ozokome and ojofo from american bank account and they are claiming that they are not receiving any money from kanonta's family they are not receiving any lawyer. <laughs> they will cry. <laughs> they are not receiving any money from <clears throat> IPOB. Let me just say it like that. If not, these people, they are going to cry. I remember when this sit at home started. <laughs> the PM was saying that the only person that can stop the sit at home is Mazi in the can. <laughs> But the way the situation is going right now, then we were even that and everybody were like, mm, what do you do now? How will you say that Mazda Nikan is the only one that can stop the seat at home? Hey, le, 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 le. The guy said, I am taking word from the heart of Mazda the Ah! People fired that say, well, what do you know? Why are you saying that you are taking word from the heart of Mazda the Kanu? Who are you? You know nothing about Mazda the Kanu, but believe me, my Ezekome just confirmed one of my dad too, that Mazda the Kanu said he wants to I don't really want to say it because we have to hear it from him direct. What he said about the sit at home and how he alone, Mazin Abdekanu, can stop the sit at home. Please, I want to digest this particular aspect. Digest it. Let it go inside. Reason it well. Think it and balance it. Over to you, our barrister Sam Ezekome. Abdekanu will get justice through the courts. If the federal government does not see the wisdom of quickly releasing Inam the Kano as urgent as yesterday. Releasing Inam the Kano will not endanger the country. It is releasing Inam the Kano that will actually bring peace and tranquility to the troubled southeast region. I've had several meetings with Inam the Kano in his presence and he laments that his own people that he's defending are being made by some characters to sit down at home every Monday, not to go to work. He has asked me that question again and again rhetorically. Chief, sir, how can I, who is helping my people, how can I be the person to be again punishing them by saying that they should not trade, they should not thrive in commerce and industry, which is their main area. I am not party to it. I want to come out when I come out. I will address my people so that they will know that there's no need to kill their economy, to kill themselves. Nabi Kanu is non violent. He has never, he has never used violent means to attempt attaining his goal of self determination. So the federal government, to me, if they are wise enough, if it's wise enough, they should just let this man go and release him. That would be more productive. That we have multiplier positive effects but it's continued incarceration and detention we continue to be like a whitlow on our four finger and for as long as we allow the whitlow to go on 
it will ache you and you will not be able to sleep so if now the country is not sleeping the federal government itself is so just not sleeping because this there is a question they ask the pm please i don't want to hear this question alone join me as we hear this question together and the answer that he gave please uh, i want to ask i need, i want to ask two questions please um you you can throw more light on it or you cannot and you or you if you like cannot answer but i just want to clear my curiosity first uh, uh our leader lawyer uh my uh is a or uh, something like that was there so you know at first you you were the one that projected him as uh, a nice uh, lawyer that is going to defend our leader this and then now we are not seeing what is going on that he has collided uh, with uh, if i Jofa, which is the cartoon uh, lawyer so i don't really know if you can tell me what went wrong or our at the, the very first beginning he has an interior motive or he just kind of a is change that's my first uh, question that is what we call afterthought betrayal i hope you followed that do you know, you know normally say afterthought betrayal yes sir thank you so that answers your question <laughs> in case you did not hear it very well he said he's afterthought betrayal so my cabalistic people that bring us to the end of this wonderful update do wait to like this video share and subscribe remember progress the analysis here for you i am here to give you all the updates i'm here to reset your brain i'm here to take you back in case you forgot it, as i said before a lot of people are so interested in the case of mazin abdikanu a lot of people are so interested about what is happening what is going on where have they reached where have they gone to that that is why I am here. Please share this video, like this video, and subscribe to this channel. And make sure hmm, you turn on the bell icon so that when I drop Oboroge news like this, you will be the first to notify. Thank you so much as I keep giving you all the update. And also make sure you put Mazina the Kanu in your prayers so that God will make everything possible. He will be released and peace will be restored. Thank you once again. And... Bye-bye.